Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. True Gamer, as always, for you. And today we're checking out Grimlord on the Quest 3 standalone, which has finally released on the Quest Store on January 17th. And I cannot wait to show you what it looks like on the standalone. And I must say, it is pretty good here. So we're going to start off where we kind of left off on my last video just so you could see what's going on and kind of what the difference is. Uh, we're not doing anything too crazy. We have a sword and a staff uh, that I'm still kind of learning how to use. But let's go ahead and go for it here. As you can see, the buildings look pretty good still. Like the graphics are not 100% as good as the uh, Steam version, but I must say they are pretty dang good, that's for sure. And, uh, of course, the creatures, we definitely have all those guys still, which is great. And they look great. And then those of you who have never seen this game before, understand that this is pretty much a Dark Souls or Bloodborne-inspired game in full VR. And, uh, it's really, really badass. I absolutely love it. It's not easy at all. Uh, there is magic, there's armor you can wear, there's all kinds of different weapons, and hopefully we can get through this mission, and I can show you that you definitely have to have some type of tactics in order to get through this. But, it is gruesome as you can see, you can chop heads off, arms off, body parts, and it is very, very cool. You collect matter, which is basically like your souls. Oh, you can block combat moves, or, or should I say attacks. Uh, you can, can parry, things like that. So you can see we parried right there. We gotta somehow get around them. We can dodge. There are potions in our pack here that we can drink if we need to. Uh, we have our health on our right and mana on our right side here. Uh, we're at the very, very beginnings of the game, so there's not a whole lot we are got going on here. But as you can see, it is not easy at all. And uh, let me just go into the settings. Oh, hot crap. Hold on. So when you pause it, Oh, man. There we go. Chopped his head off. want to go in the settings real quick for you just so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, you can stand. You can sit. Uh, there is smooth turning, things like that. Uh, so you basically got everything that you want as far as uh, full-blown accessibility. Uh, you can choose frame rate or picture depending on how you want your quality to be. And, of course, our audio settings. We'll go ahead and keep pushing on here. Like I said, in my last video, we pretty much got up to the castle here. and We got some weird things going on with the environment. It, it is the standalone version, so it, the quality is definitely good. It's just not as crisp as what you would see on Steam. But the combat and all the basic mechanics are all there for you. Oh, boy. Ooh, take that, 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 that. Ooh. Definitely want to try to go. Ooh, he blocked it. Block that. Haha. -ha. So we got him there. It looks like we got a pretty cool castle that we're exploring now. Which I'm all about. Aha, take that. Take that and that. I like how everything is on your wrist, which is cool. You got um, your inventory slots. In order to drink the potion, you actually have to take off the cap, and you can just raise it to your face there, which is great. All right, so here we go. Moving into town. Got the blacksmith. And the more enemies you kill... Obviously, the more matter you get, which is clearly, uh, you know, like your your souls and in, in Dark Soul, Demon Souls type game, and that's really what heavily inspires this game. Holy cow! And 
and I'll say it again, just like any of those games, it is not easy. AI kind of looks a little on the dumb side. They kind of bum rush you. And they're not too difficult to beat, but it does take a little bit of skill and uh, finesse. Sometimes the physics are a little bit too much. Ooh, he's still alive? Crap. Don't make sure they're definitely dead before you turn your backs on them. Aha, he's dead. <laughs> Sick. All right, so we got another potion in here. So we can definitely be looting things. Uh, there's bonfires and things like that as well uh, for teleportation. And if you're a fan of like, where the heck that come from? What was that? Oh, we got archers up there. I need to get out of the way. But if you're a fan of, like, um, you know, obviously the Dark Souls series, but, like, Blade and Sorcery, uh, any of those type of games, this is definitely a game you want to add to your list if you have not already. Uh, PC version has been out for quite some time, and now everybody that's in the standalone camp can now most definitely play it. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. It's definitely a, a workout too. You're definitely gonna get your workout out of it. Uh, you can grab bodies and throw them. Oof. Which is really neat. The more matter you get, the more uh, skills and things like that you can actually. Um, upgrade your character with and I'll show you that in a little bit once we go back to our, our our home base I guess you could say it is oh you could dodge that jump out of the way aha take that coming for you have this potion here got matter ingots I'm gonna run up here to this guy. Hopefully, can we? How do we get up there? Got to be another way around. But what's really epic on this is the actual boss fights. The boss fights are just absolutely insane. Really gives you a workout as far as what happens in the with those bosses. As you can see, each each character is uniquely designed. They all have their own ways of defeating them. And just, holy cow, look at all of them coming at you. All we got is a little sword. Oh, jeez. Gotta be careful here. Boy, he's taking hits. Oh, we gotta get out of here. We have got to get out of here. Holy moly. Let's back up a little bit before we die. Definitely drink a potion right quick. Holy moly, come on now. Let's see if we can run around this way, maybe avoid some of that. Oh no, we definitely have to go back that way. Crap. But at least we got a bigger area to, to fight these guys. You can see, it, they bunch up really fast. And they can get real crazy. And I'm telling you. Oh no, what Oh, did I drop the sword? I dropped the sword. Holy cow, we gotta run. We gotta run. Try to get away from them. I don't want anything to do with that. Got archers up there. Holy moly. Alright, we're gonna start going in on these guys now. As you can see, one-on-one -on -one combat is really... Oh, dodge that. That was quick. Holy moly. I was able to get my reaction time. I still got enemies from earlier. 
Oof. Try to stick him in his neck. Alright, I gotta run up these stairs. We gotta run away from these dudes. This is getting a little excessive. Little excessive here. Holy cow. Get these archers, man. Get them out of the way. They were driving me nuts. Yeah, we got them glitched in there. Take that, you fools. Ooh, this is crazy. Crazy talk. Let's see, can we, can we lower this gate? Nope, doesn't look like it. Trying to find a way down into things here, but doesn't look like I can do too much. See, I feel like I should be able to grab this. Like some kind of piece of paper here. Emerald unlocked. Okay, not sure what that is, but it looks like we got a some type of something here. Jab! Oh, he kicked me! Bye bye, dude! Ay ay, I'll take that and that and that! Ooh, he got stabbed. But I tell you, it, it, eventually you learn your weapons and it just gets wild with the amount of combat here. Because each one definitely. Oh, come on. Take that. All right, let's move on. See if we can't find another way out of here. Right now, we're just exploring this castle, and I've really. What we got here? Rough lever? Okay. Got some mana and all that. That's the only thing that I'm I'm kind of like iffy about. There really is no like uh, directions on where to go or anything like that, which is kind of like any other you know like Souls type game or anything like that. There is nothing that's going to hold your hand in any way, shape, or form here, which is fine. See what we got in this big old chest. Do I got anything? If we can open it up here and put this away. Like I was saying before, sometimes the physics can be a little bit too much. What do we got? Oh, we got a another weapon, it looks like here. I thought there was thought there was something else in the actual actual uh, chest here, but it doesn't seem to want to open up for me again. There it is. What we got here? Some more leather, it looks like. Oh, thin leather. Okay. Go ahead and hop down and take this guy out. You ain't crazy. I wish you could, like, take their swords and weapons from them. That'd be really freaking cool, too, but... Come on, man. Oh, we gotta run away again. These guys are just way too much for me. Still. Way too much. Let's see what else we got going on. And that one armored guy, he just wants to chase me like nobody's business. So, so far, I'm liking it. It definitely feels good. The physics feel great. And, like, when you actually hit somebody, it, it feels like you're making contact. So, that's pretty cool. I definitely dig that quite a bit, actually. But where I'm supposed to go is not necessarily... Oh, crap, one spawned. Where I'm supposed to go is not really indicated at all. So that can be a little... Oh. A little frustrating at times. Hmm. Let's see what else we got here. Got some, some wood. Well, I think that's a bomb of some sort. Yep, sure is. <laughs> nice. So we definitely have a bomb.
I have to circle all the way back around and try to get into these gates somehow. But there's lots of things hidden throughout the game. You definitely gotta, gotta look for things and try to get the different locations if, if you can. Let's see what we got. I love the exploration and design of the of the games, though. It's really, really quite wild. There's got to be a way we open this gate. Maybe we have to defeat everybody here. All right, we got him now. Let's go. Oh crap! Where'd my where'd my weapon go? Did my weapon break? Holy cow! Oh no, it's right here. Dang, he knocked my weapon on my hand. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's freaking awesome, though. Alright, is he dead? Oh, he's finally dead. Alright, we got him. Take that! That! Ah! Yeah! Alright. When can we get in this gate? I want to get in this gate. Ooh, clearly... We can get over there somehow, some way. Let's see what else we got going on here. I'd figure we'd be able to get in... Over here somewhere. But I just like how you can explore. This is really, really freaking cool. Environments are huge. Let's just... Let's just see what we can we can do about this guy. Bro, you want this? <laughs> All right, let's. Well, he didn't want none, I guess. All right, so we can circle back around. Has to be a way in. Has to be a way in. I would think. Knocking. Aha, here we go. Aha, ha, ha. Take that, and that, and that, and that. And I saw him before. Holy cow, look at all this. Go ahead and drop him on this side. We're finally into the, into the corridor now. So oh, this is interesting. We've got all these guys after us. Oh, come on now. All three of you, let's go. I'm a beast. Mm. Gotta find... We gotta find something here. All of you... Oh, we got people burning over there? That's crazy. Oh, man. Oh, fighting all these guys at once is not freaking easy, dude. So we can take this guy out first, maybe. Oh, man. And then we got archers up here. What the heck? Is that a mage? Holy cow. And we need to take him out first, because clearly... That's not cool. Take that. Don't want him shooting spells at me. Oh my gosh. Oh, of course. He can summon all kinds of stuff. We need to take you out, bud. Oh, man. Get me out of here. Run. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, man. How the heck? How the heck do I get out of here? There's no way. Oh, I'm working up a sweat, that's for sure. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Ooh, can I climb that? Is that something I can climb? Get me out of here, dude. Can I climb this? Yep, I can. 
Get me out of here. We cannot fight all those guys at once. It is just not gonna happen. Alright. See you later, suckers. Jeez. Oh, okay. We got a we got a bonfire here. Here we go. Holy moly. Let's see what we got. The the chest seemed to be so hard to open for some reason. Why I can't open that. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Viking axe. All right, so this is what I'm talking about, the bonfire here. Uh, basically, you can rest. Gets everything all caught up to you. You get your mana back and all that other good stuff. It's basically just like anything else. Uh, let's see. Uh, you can go to the monastery, uh, which basically uh, just puts you back in town. And I'll go ahead and show you that real quick before we go back out. So I really want to show you like a boss fight. That would be really, really cool on here. But basically, this here is the monastery. Uh, you've got a bunch of skill trees and things like that, which are in here. Great character voice acting. Uh, this is pretty much where you can do all your skill trees, which is freaking awesome. Uh, absolutely love this. But yeah, uh, you've got all kinds of skill trees right here. Uh, from HP regeneration, magic damage, mana points, physical damage, things like that. So that's really cool. Um, over here is going to be your little, uh, like, room where you get to kit hold all of the things that you uh, get throughout the levels and everything that you uh, basically pick up. Uh, there is armor and things like that right here for you, if that's your thing. Um, over here is your crafting. Uh, basically, you have to gather certain things in order to craft it. Um, there's just so many things. There's, there's long swords, straight swords. I mean, just all kinds of things here. Uh, so you can craft like that, but you do have to gather the resources like leather and ingots and things like that. And that's really about it. Um, once you're ready to leave, you can go back out here. And, uh, hopefully we can find where we were before. Uh, bridge front garrison, that's not that. I'm thinking it's this one right here is where we were, almost positive. This time we got a axe though, so hopefully that'll help us along with our quest. Yes, here we are. Okay, now we got two weapons, boy. What's up? We are ready. The physics are just so great on this. Bye-bye, buddy. Okay, let's see. We got some... Got some leather. We got some bombs. Satchel is full. Alright, well, we won't need that for now, then. Go ahead and try to hop down and cross this. Oh, and then we gotta climb some more, it looks like. Climbing feels a little bit odd. It's not perfect, but... It's not terrible, either. It actually works. It just looks funky. I'm ready for both of you. Let's do it. Come on. Oh, of course we gotta get you first. Well, maybe not. Coming at you hard, man. Take that. Oh, no. We've got a... Oh, no. I died. <laughs> so we're definitely restarting from our checkpoint there. We've got our weapons, it looks like. But I think all of our souls is just like any other game. You gotta, you gotta go collect them. And everything does respawn back, which sucks. But that's the way it is. Oh, come on. Sometimes the physics are just too much like that right there. You're, like your sword gets caught on them. It's kind of awkward. Alright. Time to go climb this and see what we can do about getting all of our stuff back. 
Oh, oh. That's not cool. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta touch that top brick in order to see if we can run past these guys. See you later. I need my my souls, my matter. I not pick it up. Okay, so you actually do have to physically touch it in order to pick it up. That's cool. These guys are gonna follow me. Ooh, that arrow hit me from way out, dude. Holy cow, y'all are y'all are asking me to do wild things now. And I just love, I love how big the maps are. I mean, it definitely feels like I'm trekking through an epic castle here. Ooh, there we go. There's some dismemberment. Where the heck are you coming from? Oh, man. Let's see if we can get down in here and see what this castle's all about. Oh, boy. A dungeon door. There we go. Looks like we have another bonfire, which is great. Okay. Like we're entering some sort of... Holy cow, look at this. Holy moly. Let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. God, gotta dodge that. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Got a few guys here. Oh, crap. Drop my sword. Drop my sword. Ugh. Take that. Ooh. There we go. You want some? Come on. Ooh, he got rocked. He dead though? No. He is now. He is now. Alright, bud. We gotta take you out. Hiya! Just uh, uh. Take that. Alright. Whoof. Alright. I think. All right, we cleared that little part. Let's see what we can do about getting this gate open now. Boy, oh boy, I'm working up a sweat, that's for sure. Holy moly. All right, let's see what's up these stairs, because it's starting to, starting to get a little wild. Holy cow, look at these guys. I think we might starting to become to a boss. Because... Enemies are starting to get thicker. Oh, he got rocked, man. Look at that. He didn't take much. Oh my gosh, the sounds they make. Give me my sword back quick. Give me my sword. If I pick that shield up? I want to see if I can pick that shield up. No, I can't. Crap. Gotta dodge all these guys. Holy moly, man. They really pack it on you. Gotta be careful. Gotta get rid of that dude's shield, man. My sword keeps getting caught on my axe. Take that and 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 that. Holy cow. Ooh, I'm sweating. Alright, let's get across this bridge, man. We gotta we gotta do something here. I mean look at this environment though. Absolutely insane. Oh gosh. They spawning on me. Oh my gosh. I don't I don't oh because of you. You. You're the problem. 
You're the freaking problem. I cannot fight everybody at once. We'll see. Can I just... Can I run through this? Gotta run through this. Crap. I cannot. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. I gotta run. There's no way I can fight all these guys. There's just no way. Absolutely impossible. Absolutely impossible. What's this? Oh my gosh. I gotta run. Run. Run, run. Oh my gosh. And there we go. There is a bad guy for you. Looks like some type of golem. Oh my gosh. Gotta run up on this thing. How do I dodge him? What do I do? What do I do? Look how massive it is, though. That's freaking so sick. So sick. Oh my gosh. What the heck? No idea what I'm doing. I gotta be able to, to do something to him, right? Apparently not. Apparently not. But the boss fights are just super freaking epic. I mean, look at this thing. It, it absolutely is insane. There's got to be a way I can do something to fight this guy. I might not even have the right weapons or right powers or whatever the case may be, but holy cow, they are epic. Chop, chop, chop. Oof. All right, we're doing something to him here. Oh my gosh, she almost stepped on me. Oh my god, did I lose my axe? I did. I did. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, I'm doing something to him. His health is starting to go down. It's just uh, not easy. Gotta get him in the back. Oh boy, watch out now. Oh, there we go, there we go. Beat him up, beat him up. Be oh man, can I get my weapons back please? Oh, oh man, okay, so he does fall down eventually here. He does fall down eventually, which is great. Uh oh. Take that! Right in the dick! Right in the dick! Oh man. Gotta keep dodging them. This is nuts. Oh boy. Almost there. Probably work a lot better if I had magic on this guy, that's for sure, but... Aha, there he goes, he exploded. <laughs> Alright, so that one was a little cheesy, but at the same time, it wasn't terrible, so... You kind of got to see what some, uh things look like as far as bad guys go and now we got a hammerhead of golem unlocked this probably can craft some type of weapons or something which with that which is great we are gonna go ahead and stop it right there don't want to spoil too much of the game for you but that is it grimlord for you releases january 17th of 2024 to the meta store and definitely, definitely check it out if you're a fan of Blade and Sorcery or any type of Souls-like or, or Bloodborne-like type games. This is definitely something you want to check out. The physics are cool. It can be a little wonky at times. Uh, but I can tell you uh, it, the, the dungeons just keep going and going and going. And there's so much to explore, so much to do, so much to collect, and so much to fight. It's absolutely insane. 
As always, if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next episode.